welcome back to my channel. I'm aware it has been a fair few months since I've actually sat down and filmed a video for you guys, but I am back and I'm just gonna get straight on in it. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions um, review of the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Now I believe this is just a new packaging, but I've not tried this yet. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a go on camera, see how I like it, how it looks on my skin, just do my normal makeup and then come back um, later on in the day and just show you guys how it's lasted and how it's actually worked for me on my skin Just a bit of recap just so you guys know I have very very dry skin Don't know how this is going to work for me I've not really read up on too much reviews because I wanted it to be Exactly 100% my honest opinion um, Without being influenced by what other people think um, And I got mine in the shade beige rose which is 3 point R or 3 point C I'm not sure why it's given all those This is just the packaging Really, it's really cute, it's in a glass bottle, um, the plastic sort of cap and then you get like a pump at the top. I always find these are hard to keep keep clean but so I'm hoping it's going to be a right match because I didn't actually swatch it but hey we're just going to roll with it. Because I already have dry skin I already have used my Clinique moisturiser um, on my skin but that is the only thing that I have put on today, I've got nothing else. Hopefully I'm going to be able to cover it but I've got a few little blemishes and especially around my nose where I'm the driest that's where I crack the most right, let's get rid of that horrible skin <laughs> so there the areas and on my chin here I'm looking to see if it will cover and last because that is what I'd like okay first thing I notice it is quite runny it's running right down my fingers there it smells like your average foundation so apologies if I'm looking up guys and not at you I didn't bring a mirror so I'm just using my viewfinder as I said, just popping this all on my face. Seems to be a good match, actually. And then, as always, I always use the Real Techniques buffing, buffing brush. But I like to stipple it on my skin because I have dry skin. I really want it into the skin. I don't want it to drag. Okay, so that's one application of layer. Okay, I really, really like the match of this. I think it really matches my skin well. It's definitely coming out a lot lighter on camera than it is in real life, but that's fine. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing a foundation. I don't feel like it's thick and I can feel it on my skin. It feels very lightweight. Actually, it's very, very nice. It's definitely not a full matte texture. Um, which is good because I don't like proper matte feeling foundations for dry skin because it just it just doesn't work, it looks rather cakey. I mean it's held up okay around my nose, it's not quite covered a few of the, I don't know if you can quite tell on camera, it's not covered quite a few, but I did only put a thin layer on. For the purpose of the video, I'm just going to put a, another layer on just to see if this is um, buildable. Just to see if we can actually cover up any of those redness areas and blemishes and things. It's not quite a wet consistency, it actually sort of dries pretty quickly. Okay, so this is definitely buildable. Um, I can see this is nice coverage i wouldn't say it's a full coverage foundation i'd say it's definitely um more of the light to medium okay, on camera it looks pretty flawless um i know my skin is not the worst um but for me i don't wear foundation to sort of cover it up i just like to even it out because i do get a lot of redness around my nose um and sort of my cheeks areas so i just like to make my skin look nice and even okay so that is a second sort of layer um it's clogging a little bit in my hairs um catching a little bit if you can see sort of here but that's not really a problem for me that doesn't bother me um uh, so, so it looks like 
Um, it does look very shiny and oily, but I think that's just because of my moisturiser. I love it so much. It just um, really hydrates my skin. But once I set this with powder, it should all settle down. Show around my nose. It's covered quite well, um, but I'll just see. I think I said this is the first place where it tends to crack. So I'll just have to test that out throughout the day for you guys and just see how it actually works. But on the whole, I'm actually quite impressed with this. Um, the texture, it does feel slightly um, sort of sticky to the touch. It's not completely on dried on my skin. But like I said, once I set it with a few powders and things, it, it, everything should be okay, I'm hoping. I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I shall be back. Okay guys, so this is the finished sort of look. I um, just went for really natural today. I'm not really doing too much. I'm popping out into town with my boyfriend and then we are celebrating my sister's birthday and we're going out for a meal later on tonight. The time is about 12 o'clock now, so I'm gonna see how it lasts throughout the day. I'll come back after I've been out. As I said, it is a very gloomy, wet day outside, so I'm just gonna see how the humidity holds and, and how it doesn't slide on my face, because I didn't use a primer, because I really wanted to see how it stood without because I know not everyone out there uses primers, so I just wanted to see exactly how it lasts on my face. Um, so I'll check back with you later on, guys. Hey guys, I thought I'd do another little update. Um, sorry for the shakers of the camera, I'm having to hold it because I'm at my boyfriend's house. It is about five o'clock. Um, it's wearing okay, it's kind of um, wearing a little bit. Um, just into my nose. It's already sort of started to crack. Um, I haven't touched up at all any parts. It's definitely come off my chin and sort of the areas of my face that it would normally. Um, I mean, it's not a big difference, I don't think. Um, overall, I think I am quite impressed with it um as i said it's been a horrible day today really really horrible outside especially it's been very wet um in fact it's still raining now so yeah i think i am i am quite impressed with this um the texture is definitely not sticky anymore it's quite nice lovely again doesn't really feel like wet anything on the skin and don't forget i did have two layers of this um on where i probably normally only have the one and then use concealer um however i would use my pore primer around my nose because I've got really big pores but other than that I think it's done really really well I really like it but yeah I will check back with you then guys bye okay hey guys it is definitely a lot later now it is literally like 10 um, o'clock so I really apologize for the lighting and for the quality but I wanted to just wrap this up for you. Basically, I absolutely adore this foundation. Really, really good. I absolutely love it. Um, there's a bit of wear, um, but that is basically the foundation anyway. Um, I believe it comes in 21 different shades. But on the whole, I really, 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 really love it. Definitely a good match for my skin. That is my thoughts on it. So if any of you are thinking of getting sort of a drugstore um, a foundation, that is the one that all. I would suggest that is my thoughts um, on this foundation but yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye next up I'm just moving on to concealer and I'm using my holy grail this is the collections last imperfection concealer in the shade too light and then blending that out with my damp beauty blender I absolutely love this especially for concealer um, just makes it look really really flawless